Welcome to the third episode of my email marketing series. In this one, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to get started with the email marketing software GetResponse and how to create your first email list. Before we get started, I want to welcome you to my channel if you're watching one of my videos for the first time. My name is Simon and on this channel you get the best tutorials, tips and tools you need to create a successful online business. So consider subscribing for more videos just like this one. And I'll also list all the tools and services I'm talking about down below in the description. So check them out at any point of this video. The first thing that we're going to do is get you a 30 day free trial for the email marketing software GetResponse. There are actually many other email marketing providers like MailChimp, Aweber or ActiveCampaign, but I really like GetResponse and I have been using them for a while. So I'm just going to show you how to set up everything in GetResponse. But don't worry if at some point you decide to switch providers, you can just export all of your contacts and emails and then upload it to the new provider that you're going to be using. But for now, let's get you started with GetResponse. To get started, go down to the description of this video and click on the first link there. It will take you to the GetResponse website where you can sign up for a 30 day free trial. All right, so we're now on the GetResponse website where you can sign up for your free trial and we're going to click on sign up for free and this will take us to the sign up page where we can enter our name our email address and our password once you've done that just click on create account i've already done that and once you click on create account you will get to the next website where it tells you you need to activate your account with uh, get response so you need to go to your email address that you've entered on the last page and um it will look like this. So what you got to do now is just click on activate my account. So we're going to do that now. So to finish our sign up, we need to fill out the complete account setup form. And once you've done that, just click on take me to my account. So the first thing that we're going to do now is set up the email address that you'll be using to send out your emails from. For this, we go to the top right corner and click on manage account. Then on the left side, we click on email addresses. There you already see your email that you've used to sign up for GetResponse. And uh, that's probably a Gmail or a Hotmail or AOL or whatever you're using. What you should do here is actually enter the email address uh, of the domain that you own. So for example, for me, it would be simon at learnpassiveincome.com or simon at infogram.com. These are the domains that I own. And the problem, if you would use this, uh, your Gmail or your Hotmail or whatever, uh, if you would use this one to send out emails from is that they are very likely to land in the spam folder of your subscribers. So your subscribers won't end up e reading your emails. So eventually you want to get a domain if you don't already have one um, to do email marketing. Uh, if you don't already have a domain, I have a link in the description of the website hosting service that I am using if you want to check that out. But for now, if you don't have a domain and you don't want to set, set up one right now, um, you can just use your uh, Gmail address or whatever is in there right now to set everything up. And then once you start getting, um, getting email addresses and, and you want to send out emails, um, you can change your email address, you can get the domain then and you can change out your email address and uh, that's no problem. But if you have a domain, um, I would suggest to use this. So go to add email and then type in your name and the email address that you'll be using. So for me, it's simon at learnpassiveincome.com and then click on add address. Then you have uh, the second address. Uh, this is now unconfirmed. And uh, what we need to do is go to my inbox for this email and then click on the link that they sent me just to, to confirm that this is actually uh, the email that I own. And then once this is done, I can change this one to the default and I can always use uh, the my email from my domain so the emails will actually land in the inbox. So once we've done that, we can go back to the dashboard. All right, so we're now inside of our GetResponse dashboard. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna navigate through everything real quick to kind of get you an overview of how to navigate through your account. So up top, we have our contacts 
And um, this is where you manage all of your emails that you're getting, your email addresses that you're getting and your different email lists. So if you already have an, a list of emails, you can import it here and you can move around email addresses to different lists. You can segment lists and stuff like that. Um, then you have email marketing. Um, the only thing I use here is uh, the newsletter. So for example, once I, when I upload a video to YouTube, I will just uh, write a quick uh, email and send it out to my subscribers to let them know that I have just posted something on YouTube and they can watch it if they want. I don't really do uh, autoresponders here because it's really uh, redundant if you use the, the automation option here, which is really nice. So uh, what you can do here is you can uh, prepare your emails and then you can manage, you can build workflows uh, to, to kind of automate different things. You can, um, you can send emails in a sequence and then for example, if somebody clicks on a link, you send him a different email. And if somebody doesn't open an email, you just wait three days and then uh, you're gonna send the same email again, but with a different title, for example. So so we have a lot of options here. And um, in a later part of this email marketing series, I'm gonna show you exactly how to build these these workflows. So they, they are automated and everything, it's perfect. And um, and then you have landing pages. So you're going to need landing pages uh, for people to sign up for your email list. And you have the ability to build them inside of GetResponse, which is really nice. And um, then it will automatically import the email addresses that you're getting from that uh, landing page to your contacts, to your email uh, list. So um, also, this is something that we're going to take a look at later. And you have more options like uh, you can do webinars, forms and surveys and CRM. Uh, to be honest, I've never done anything with these, so I'm not going to cover them in this beginner tutorial, but um, you can check them out if you want. Now, you also have uh, on your dashboard some quick uh, links uh, just so you can create a landing page real quick or create a newsletter so you don't have to navigate through the, the tabs up here. And you have some some statistics you have um, your list statistics where you see how many email subscribers you've gained uh, in a day and how many you have in total and things like that um, you can all you can move all of these things around you can adjust it however you want uh, but i would suggest you just let it like it is um, until you feel really comfortable with using that response and then you can just adjust it to your liking um, down below you also have uh, some tutorials which are really nice. I haven't seen them for a long time, but um, I've took their list building uh, course lately. And uh, I have to say it's really good information. It's very, really, really thorough. So there are a lot of uh, different videos that you can watch there. And yeah, I suggest uh, you go through it. If you have time, you definitely will learn a lot and it's totally free. So, um, so why not take that? Um, also, you can, if at some point you want to promote GetResponse, they have a really awesome affiliate program um, where you can earn recurring revenue. Uh, so if at some point you want to promote it, uh, feel free to do so. It's a very good service. Um, and then on the left side here, you also see uh, chat 24-7. This is like really awesome. Whenever you have a problem or something, you don't know how something works, just go on... on um, the chat here and then you just uh, you can click start chat and um, just start chatting immediately you don't have to go through some complicated uh, contact form or something so you can just start chatting with somebody from get response and they will be able to solve your problem really quickly so uh, yeah this is really nice to have and it saves you a lot of time perfect so what we're going to do now is set up our email list we already have an email list that has been automatically created for us, but we're just gonna create one so we know how all the settings are and we can uh, customize the list how we want it. Um, so we go to contacts on the top, uh, on the top uh, here, go to contacts and then click on create list on the right here. Then you can name the list whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to name it get response tutorial just uh, because this uh, is a tutorial and you see that it has already been uh, taken. Um, no, it's 
you can't uh, use underscores so I'm just gonna type it in like this and now it says you only can use lowcase letters so I'm just gonna change everything to lowcase and then it should actually work it already exists okay so now we have tried everything that doesn't work um, so if the list already exists then you need to change another, change the name so I'm just gonna add one and then it should actually work okay perfect so now it works uh, get response tutorial one is, is my email list and now I go to the three dots on the right corner here on the right side and get go to settings okay once I'm in the settings I can give the list a title. I would suggest you give the list a title because if people unsubscribe from your list, they will see that title. Uh, otherwise, they will probably see this one, which doesn't look nice. So um, yeah, just name it whatever you want. I will name it just get response tutorial. Now you can use spaces uh, like this. Cool, uh, a description. Um, you can also do a description. I'm not gonna do that now. Uh, a category. So for example, if you have a lot of uh, different categories that, that you're using this marketing for, you can um, divide it for me, for example, I would do uh, internet marketing, which fits pretty well. And then for the language, it chooses German for me because uh, I live in the uh, German part of Switzerland, but um, I always use English because I'm communicating in English. So uh, it makes sense to uh, to choose English here and then um, the the show post address in message footer um, if you have this on then it will just show your address uh, on the footer of every email that you send out and I personally don't do this I don't think it needs to have my address in every email so I turn this off but this is up to you and then if you have a logo of uh, your company or your business you can up upload it so that uh, when they get the confirmation message that, that they have signed up for an email list they will see that logo and they can click on it and they will get to the website that you enter in here so you can enter your home page or a, just a website that you want and um, yeah so they can click on that on that logo and they will get to your website so once we've set uh, everything up here we click on save general settings and we can go to the next tab up here which is subscription here the first thing is send subscription notifications I turn this off because um, if you have it on it will send you a notification whenever somebody subscribes to your email list and for me I get enough emails as it is so I don't need to get a, conf a notification every time somebody signs up then the next thing is additional confirmation double opt-in now uh, this is something that can be important. Um, this means if you have if you have turned it on like this, um, if somebody signs up for your email list on your landing page, they will get another email um, where they have a link. They need to click to to confirm again that they actually want to be uh, on your email list and get emails from you. Now there are certain advantages if you do this. For example. Um, you won't get any fake emails or email emails that don't exist, email addresses that don't exist. Um, some people like to just enter some random email just so they see what happens if they click on confirm or download or whatever is on your landing page. And um, that's actually bad for you because if you have a lot of fake emails and emails that don't exist in your list and you will send emails to them, they won't be delivered. And email... Um, providers will notice that your emails won't get delivered and you'll end up um, being flagged uh, as a spammer your email address will be flagged and your emails will all end up in the spam folder so you your real subscribers won't even get your your emails so this is why um, it's a good idea to turn this on uh, I have to be honest I currently don't have this turned on because I um, my landing page I'm sending out an ebook and I'm telling people that I will send the ebook to their email so I'm really not getting any fake emails because they know if they type in a fake email they won't get the ebook um, but I am planning on actually activating this once I have um, set up my website uh, for the confirmation page but like I said this is up to you I think it's a good idea to do it um, 
uh, also depending on how your landing page looks like. But um, what they will get if you use the get response uh, cust uh, the get response default page, they will go to to this page. They will just see thank you for subscribing um, has confirmed and has been added to this list. So they actually see uh, the name of your list. So also be aware of that, that they can actually see what your list is called if you use the default um, confirmation page. If you have a custom URL, like you have a website and you design a thank you page where you have another video or another article or an offer or something, you can enter it in this, uh, in this tab here. And then they will just go to the website that you enter once they get uh, once they click on the confirmation link in the confirmation email. If you don't have it, just click on get response, uh, the default. And then the unsubscribe page, if somebody clicks on unsubscribe on the bottom of your emails, they will get to this page, you can't really change it. Uh, it's just the default, um, the default uh, get response page. Unsubscribe success page, you can see how it looks like. You can also index in search engines, um, but I actually have turned this off. But that's up to you. And then we again, we, we click on save subscription settings. Now I have turned the double opt in on. And if you have turned it on, you can go to the confirmation message, which will be sent once somebody signs up um, on your landing page. And you can choose HTML or plain text. I always choose plain text because um, with HTML, it's more likely to, that you end up in the spam folder and we don't want that. So um, I choose plain text and then um, you have different uh, subject lines that you can choose for your confirmation message. Um, this really depends on what your, the context of the sign up process of your subscribers. For example, if you give away an ebook, it might make sense to, or if you're delivering something, it might make sense to uh, just product delivery confirmation to use this one, or um, if, if it's just uh, to sign up for a newsletter, if you just ask them sign up for my newsletter, then just uh, use this for example, the name and then newsletter subscription confirmation, whatever is uh, con uh, like, ever, whatever fits to your um, system. Um, and then, like I see, I already have uh, the the default email changed to my my personal email from my domain. Um, but if you don't have uh, a domain, you can use the, the Gmail. Just make sure that at some point you at some point you actually have a domain and use this email here. And then also you can change the reply. Um, so if somebody rep replies to your emails, uh, it will go to another email. For example, I can uh, choose it that. All replies go to this email actually and not to the ones through email that I've sent the email from. But I, I'll just leave it like this. And then for the confirmation message, uh, you also have different templates. You can't really customize the message um, all the way, um, but you have some options that you can choose. Again, uh, this is really uh, depends on what you are, what your system looks like. For me, for example, I give away an ebook for people to sign up for my uh, email list. So I would uh, choose this, for example, ebook request, and then I would type in something like, hi, um, and then uh, this message would come, your request for my ebook has been received, blah, blah, blah. And then they have this, this link here where they can click. And then I just uh, type in my name down below. And uh, that's it. So once everything's set up, um, click on save confirmation message. So now we have set up our list and we can see it. If you go to contacts, we can see that we have now two different um, email lists. All right, so you have now created your first email list inside of GetResponse where all of your email addresses will be sent to. In the next episode, I'll show you how to create a simple landing page inside of GetResponse so you're ready to start collecting leads. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and also subscribe to the channel for more free training videos. And I'll see you in the next episode.